Hey there, Stuart from Uplifted Life. I just wanted to share a story with you that I found pretty extraordinary and rather unique last night. It goes back actually till April 14th when I was uh, watching the news with my wife. The first article that they were showing was really around food banks and these long lineups of food banks in Austin, Texas and in New York and in uh, Chicago and basically all over the United States where people were waiting four to six to eight hours to get food. And that just hit me really hard and broke my heart to see millions of people actually um, going out and suffering to try and find food. And then the very next story was about farmers and how they're throwing away food and dumping milk down the drains and piling up food to rot or just letting it rot in the fields. And it just hit me like, oh my God, the there's something that's just wrong here. The system is, is really broken. And so I left that newscast feeling pretty discouraged and uh, feeling a little bit helpless to be, to be honest. But then uh, last night I was, I was really pleasantly surprised. Um, they brought back the story and now the story was really about this man named John Boddy who also watched the story on April 14th and he got a group of people to come together to figure out a way how they could get some trucks get some drivers, go down to these farmers, get the food and actually connect it to the food banks. And within a matter of days, they were making this happen. And they also noticed that the farmers were suffering because they weren't able to actually sell this food. So they also started raising money to support the farmers. I think it's just an amazing and wonderful example about outpouring and helping one another to find solutions, good solutions moving forward. So I have the clip that I'd like you to watch from ABC News last night. When I come back, I'll, uh, I'll share a few last little points. When we reported here on the farmers forced to throw out rotting produce and that spoiled milk, we said we would stay on this, wondering if there's any way to get that food to the families who need it. There is news tonight, and here's Steve Osinsami. The people you're about to meet say they wanted to help after hearing this report. Real questions after some farmers were forced to destroy their crops, dump milk, unable to deliver to those in need. I'm sitting on my couch. I watched your report at 7.30 p.m. Tuesday, April 14th, and I said, this is wrong. We need to do something. Our story was about farmers who were pouring milk down the drain and watching vegetables rot in their fields. The coronavirus is hurting them, too. John Boddy, a money manager, decided to call a few friends the very next day, and the idea was born. They would send semi-trailers to the nation's farms and bring back free food to people in need. Cabbage farmers, potato farmers in upstate New York. There is uh, another wonderful woman, Shonda, that has rice, it's U.S. rice, down in Mississippi. By Saturday, there were a dozen more friends, and they realized the farmers needed help too. So now they were raising money to buy the food that farmers were going to throw away. This tonight is their first shipment. More than 43,000 pounds of potatoes purchased from a farmer in Idaho, driven by this army veteran and arriving in the South Bronx on Saturday. We could come together and we could come up with solutions and make a difference. And we're lighting candles in the darkness right now. This has now grown into an operation with three large trucks, hundreds of volunteers, and even small businesses donating their relief money from the federal government. Amazing is a good word to describe this, David. Well, we salute John and everyone trying to help. Just the beginning, Steve, and I know you're gonna stay on this. Thank you, Steve. The thing that really struck me about that clip was not just the, the story and how uplifting the story was, and how John and his friends could light the candle of others without diminishing their light in any way. Um, but that the story was actually in the middle of the newscast. It wasn't a little bit that was left at the end. And usually the news will add something right at the end to keep you optimistic, but most of the newscast has been all around fear and um, fragmentation and, and division and, and really not so overly positive as most of you probably have experienced. Um, but the fact that mainstream media had actually inserted this in the body of the newscast was like a first for me. Um, I, I haven't seen it often and it was uh, a small but very encouraging sign. So um, I hope we see more of that in the future. And I want to give an amazing shout out to uh, our uplifter, John Body, And um, have a wonderful day and stay uplifted, my friends. Thanks. Bye-bye.